Speaking of uh, losing money, since we're talking about demonetization, let's talk about a catastrophic failure. Uh, so it's Saturday night, right? You think most people are probably, if they're going to game, they're probably gaming tonight, right? Yep. Yes. It's a big mm -hmm. night. At the weekend is when people game. Yep. You know, you know, usually, and some people work, but most people have weekends off. So you would think a game that just came out yesterday, highly anticipated game, would be doing big numbers, but <laughs> not big this one. Numbers. This one is not doing well, and that is, of course, Sony's Concord, seeing catastrophic numbers. Holy shit. 401 people playing this game on Steam right now with an all-time peak of 697 people. That is, I think, like, somebody said it was 70% less. I don't remember what the numbers were for the beta, but somebody was saying it's 70% less than the open beta, which was free. Probably Holy the people shit. who made the game. How much for well, the are, are, are you saying that telling people mm -hmm. not to play the game actually resulted worked. in people not playing the game? <laughs> it actually worked. That's crazy. <laughs> Did somebody in the studio say the that? Can you give me a yes, they, dude. They were all about calling people bigots, right? There's that one developer. Oh, yeah, yeah, they did. Like that one lady was like talking to, about. To unhide your reply. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. This is, uh, this is a disaster. Sony, I don't know, Grums, how much money do you think they lost? This was, this was a big game for them. Eight years of development. It was going to be published by Sony. So, I don't know. I think you're, you're looking at, with marketing and everything else, northwards of 100 mil. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy man and you think about you put this in contrast with uh black myth and yeah. like what that had two million in its 10 first, million what? oh 10 you're talking million. about players well it sold 10 players. million they're sold, saying yeah, sold 10 million copies yeah, they're saying 10 million uh i don't know if that's true or not uh, i'm gonna say it, it's likely real because you see two million people playing it that's just on steam the game came out on playstation yeah. as well yeah so if you look at concurrency results, you know, for, for an MMO, which is unusually high, it's about 30% on your peak. Like if you sell 10 million copies, you can expect 3 million online at your peak. That's generally the mm -hmm. rule for MMOs. For a, a game like this, it should be a little bit lower because it's not a, you know, an, an online game. So I totally believe the 10 million figure because if they're pulling 2.5 million now, you know they're they're easily past 10 million i would say and that's just the steam numbers that is that is catastrophic i wonder where black Mick is right now i'm gonna have a look so why people hate this game can anybody break it down to because it's shit and the characters look like ass it's yeah it's it's basically <laughs> you gotta DEI. Bring up the character lineup it's it's dei the video game basically. oh gotcha gotcha yeah gotcha. yeah they they really went overboard with the pandering, the pandaverse. Yeah, I'm the guy, whom I don't yeah. know because they didn't show up to buy the game or play it. And what's you know, and what's blowing up is everyone. Uh, it, all the usual. I found a picture of the frumpy main character from the game. Oh, this isn't even the worst one. That's oh, yeah, yeah, that's one, one of the that, better ones. Yeah, there's man, that's the <laughs> there's some really. There's a couple of fat, like fat women. Fatties. Uh, there's a uh, one that looks like Al Kiji from One Piece, except it's a black chick. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> hold on. No way. See. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see if it's in this article here. Is that the main character right there? No, there's a whole bunch. It's Here's one of them. It's, it's one of the four main characters on the cup. Oh, okay. Like here's one of them, this uh, fat Warhammer looking ripoff. <laughs> Didn't you post a picture on uh, Twitter this week, Flash? It, they believed. I mean, they <laughs> believed that if you make your characters this way, you're supposed to summon this mythical audience that comes by and buys your game. Yeah, you're just supposed to make more money by doing this. Because you know, the game I, I, itself is, it doesn't suck, right? People are saying who played it, is saying it's actually, it's actually, you know, perfectly fine to good, depending on who you talk to. So it's not the gameplay that's doing it. But I a hero guess. shooter really depends on its character designs. People have to be, you know, into the backstories of your characters. They, they, you know, 
uh, they got to get into it. There's got to be rule 34 artists for it. That's what really pushes <laughs> any sort of character based game, even MOBAs. And if I mean, you don't have good characters, you're going to end up like this. There are doesn't, this, of doesn't games, this look though. like doesn't this look like Alkiji Crow? <laughs> Hold on, let me see. It looks like DEI, the video what game. What the fuck, dude? No, that looks, <laughs> that looks like Alkiji if he was being a drag queen. Okay, yeah, perfect then. That's what I was saying. It's like a Alkiji woman. What about the fat one in the blue in the blue coat back there? She's a part of the yeah. game too. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. One yeah. Of, um... That's the 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 Walmart version of uh, May from Overwatch. <laughs> and they also have. Uh, I bet she can run fast. What, I just like... want to point out that they also all have pronouns, even this one. <laughs> yeah, the robot too. I, what the is pronouns it, are like front and center. I don't know. It's he's a, a he. The he's a so he. Many... He him. There are so many hero wow. shooters like in games like this that you're right. When the characters are this unappealing why would you even want to play as them yeah it looks generic it don't look fun yeah i mean it's totally bland yeah, it's and they they got so much feedback on this right they got so much pushback on this during the beta but they, they didn't listen it. they they just yeah. told these people to fuck off and called them bigots it's yeah, like not okay only that, well, they're not gonna play the fucking there was game. a uh, people were telling me there was internal emails circulating you know that just from their communications director and it was like they called it white noise. They said, "Don't listen to the white noise." Yeah, it's, it's still going to be successful. <laughs> sure. And they they knew they they had the info right there, but you can't talk about that stuff. You can't say, "Hey, our, our characters suck because they're." This guy kills me the most because this guy's supposed to be like the main. We would call like the straight white male character, right? That's what he yeah. appears as, but he has such a soy, like empathetic face. I don't want to see that in a shooter, in a space shooter. Like, I understand your problem. Yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd, we need somebody I'd, badass I'd like, like the Golden Patriot. That's what you'd see him at a woman's <laughs> protest for sure. Jesus, not this fuck. guy. Uh, Black it looks Mid like a crossover Pro between Drex and uh, or Drax and Star Lord. Ryan Gosling kind of has that vibe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he just looks bored. Black Myth probably he's in has... that game, so he's not getting used. He probably is bored. Black Myth has just under 1.3 million players playing right now. Good. It deserves it. It does. <laughs> the meltdown. On the up and they tried team. so hard to destroy that game before it released. Yep. Yeah. But how about this winning strategy? Do you think that uh, calling haters of the game talentless freaks will uh, get people to break 700, 800 concurrent Man, players? Man, they always do that. They always blame the fans when it flops. They do that all the time. This is why you don't let your devs talk to, to customers. <laughs> well, just look at the numbers. Just look at those numbers that Flash showed before, and it's like, okay, how can you possibly think that there's more people that think like you do when people are clearly not playing this game based on the way it was promoted and obviously what it's got in it? How can they? I don't know. I just, they're so delusional. These it's people. the bubble, and everyone's delusional did you see paul tassie's tweet yes i can't believe this yeah. he's like is, is there a bug is there <laughs> and not only that the verge uh whoever the editor-in-chief is of the verge couldn't believe it either hey i will say this real quick though um y'all remember when that director came out with the son of the hedgehog trailer and that son of the hedgehog looked like complete crap now, yeah and that yeah <laughs> Instead of him, instead of him going off on the fans, what did he do instead? They delayed the movie and fixed it. He fixed it and made a whole bunch of money, and now yep. people want Sunday three as we speak. These people don't understand that though; they're dumb. That's yeah, a very they, they good were, point. They Jay. were pissed off and they were outraged that they actually changed that uh, design for Sonic. Remember? Oh, why are you mm -hmm. why are you bending the knee to the fans? Like, because the fans are the ones who are going to pay for it. Yeah, they called it setting a dangerous precedent. Oh, God. Yeah. For breaking they always news. say that when they don't like something. No, breaking, we, breaking we news. Quality. We can't have quality. We shamed the game so hard that it dropped below 400 players. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> People playing are that embarrassed. Yeah, shit, they're talking about us. Oh, I think shit. they've just been drinking their Kool-Aid too long in their bubbles because they shut everyone else and banned them and kicked them off of social media. They don't have a they don't have a view of reality anymore. They're off in la-la land. 
but it's true though. They they really think that they are the majority, and the people that are against them, they're this really small, insignificant group of people that doesn't need to be listened to. And I mean, time after time after time, you keep seeing them get proof and fucking wrong. There's the fucking mm-hmm. acolyte show being canceled. Even if you want to whine and bitch and say, "Oh, well, you know, it's all these negative, toxic, uh, 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 white males or whatever," yeah, all the incels and shit. But where was where was your fucking audience? They still yeah. exist, right? Like, where the fuck were they? Why weren't they watching this oh, fucking show? This is well, a good point. The- I love that Sega embraced that and let them use that rejected design in that Rescue Rangers movie. Did anybody see that? Yeah, I, I did. Yeah. yeah. That was, the movie it was, actually, was horrible, but it had a few I funny did, moments. Yeah, yeah, I didn't hate the movie. I thought there was a couple funny moments. This was a I funny like one. It. They had a fake rejected Sonic at yeah. some convention. Yeah. yeah, it was funny. It was the exact design from the first trailer. So, like, props on Sega. I completely forgot about that scorching frame flames until you said that. That's a that's a good point. Yeah, well, Sega had funny. a relationship with Disney anyway, because didn't they let Sonic be in like what was it one of the last Wreck It Ralph movies or something like that? Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure he. I think it had to do. I I think it has a lot to do with the fact that people don't have like a unified culture anymore. Like there used to be things that would come out that would be cultural touchstones that you needed to Mm -hmm. see in order to be. But now people don't even watch regular TV anymore. People just kind of pick and choose what they want to see. And then after kind of the the Trump thing happened, where the whole entire U.S. kind of realized, oh, the media is actively just straight up lying to us. Everybody had him behind in the polls, didn't have a snowball's chance in hell of winning. And then when he did, like people just don't trust what they see anymore. So they kind of just navigate to their own little enclaves to hang out with like minded people. Like I haven't seen anybody come together to like watch something on TV since like American Idol decades ago, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we don't have yeah, shows th- with the numbers like they used to, that's for Same sure. Same thing with music. I mean, you know, my kids, they just they listen to different things from their friends and there's no there's no longer like a common band that you know you can gravitate around or anything like that it's all it's all fractured because it's it's on-demand entertainment right you can call up whatever you want in whatever genre whatever time and listen to that and you you've lost what we call the water cooler moments right you you'd watch a tv show and you'd come into work the next day and you'd gather around the coffee station or whatever and talk about what you just saw that doesn't happen anymore yeah, yeah, and well, it's caused you know, uh, cultural stagnation too. At the same time, 